Howdy y'all, the JTJ here, back with part four of AOS on Tabletop Sim. So we've got the game installed, we've given overviews, now we're going to see how we actually get the sprites or the models and the board to play on. Now if you notice mine under my saved area, that I have board saved and it'll auto save during the last in whenever you've done something in a game it'll go through some auto saves but you can save as many boards as you want in here but you're like hey how do we get the boards well you'll have to go to the workshop so right here if you click on workshop this will bring up all the boards and figures or models that I'm sort of subscribed to so as you can see I got some Warriors of Chaos I've got a, a, a green map um, some uh, Master Clan so I've subscribed to a lot of these and this is where you'll get the pieces to actually play this game. So the question is, how do I do that? Well, you can just go to browse. I always type in Age of Sigmar and hit browse. Now it will launch the Steam Workshop. Okay, it launches the Steam Workshop. And as you can see, here's the Tabletop Simulator banner. I'm going to go ahead and type in right here. Okay, I'm going to type in Age of Sigmar. Hit enter and it'll bring it up. So these are all the crowdsource or sandbox or workshop items that people have made. And you can go in here and find a board. So a lot of the boards already have, like this one example, has escalation. It's already set up. And of course, you can move all those pieces. So if you like the board, but you didn't really want it set up for escalation, you can still change that later. Um, very dramatic um, boards. There's cards. There's tons and tons of stuff that you can dig through on this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and there's a meeting engagement board. I don't have a meeting engagement board. There's a Soul Wars board in Spanish. So let's go to this meeting engagement board because say that you wanted that. You simply click on it and it will take you to that page. Usually there's one or more photos. There might even be comments and all sorts of um, um, description from the creator is if we notice there's nothing here this is a pretty blank one all I have to do is hit the subscribe button I am now subscribed to that and that will be in my workshop page and I can open it up whenever the creator makes changes to this it should update in your uh, workshop as well if for some reason you don't want it anymore you can simply unsubscribe and it's no longer in after you've got your board while you're here I would go around, I'd go ahead and hit the back arrow, and if you're looking for a specific army, go ahead and download them. So if I was looking for, uh, what are they even now, what are the Dark Elves even called? Well, let's just see what happens if I type in Dark. Cities of Sigmar, that's what's going to come up. Okay, so hey, here's a City of Sigmar, oh here's a Night Hone army. You know what? Maybe I'm playing Night Haunts or I'm interested in looking at the models. The same thing. You can click on it. Double check out if there's any pictures. This is a bigger description. There are people that have commented on it. It's been around for a while. So awesome. I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to that. So right now I have a board and I have sprites for an army. I think that I am all set up at this time. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out. Now there's several different ways to do this. I'm just going to return to my game here. All right, so we can see the two things that I have subscribed to. I see the meeting engagement board, and this should be the Night Haunt Army. So we have these two things downloaded. You will be able to open them up. So if I double clicked on either one of these, they will open. So let's go ahead and open up the Night Haunts. Are you sure you want to load? Yes. Now notice this one is taking a little bit of time and I have had it where it they load in bad sometimes you have to go back and reload them.
So this is a nicely, nicely done army. He has most of the models in three dimension scans. Um, so as you can see, a lot of these will load in with the cards and the sprites. And this is basically how you get the models that you're going to use to play the game. In the next episode, I will talk to you about how to sort of I go through the steps to construct my army. Thanks for watching.